Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shemarie. Today I'll be starting off a brand new reading vlog. So before I get started, if you're new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as hit the notification bell. But as you can tell from the title of this video, I will be reading and finishing the Renegades series. So this is actually future stuff. I already finished Renegades, um, so I'm going to go into that a little bit more later on um, and probably like splice this clip so like it's at the end because uh, i did also already update you guys a little bit when i was reading the book so you guys know how i felt but i didn't actually do the intro so i'm doing the intro that right now but i'm really enjoying it so far but anyways let's just get to the updates i had while i was reading this book and then i'll move on to my thoughts after finishing the first book so i've officially started reading renegades over here and i am now on page 122 or so and i have to say i'm really enjoying this book it is such an easy read i feel like mr mariah like her writing style is like so easy for readers to just consume it's not like one of those super flowery super like descriptive books but it's very like to the point and it's not like it's blunt or like not descriptive because it is it's just not like over the top and i'm enjoying this book a lot it's just so easy for me to read through right now i'm enjoying just learning all the characters and uh, just finding out like what's happening so Rana's book follows a girl called nova who is apparently the niece of ace who apparently is like the anarchist so like this is like um a dystopian book where things kind of happen and now these like prodigies aka superheroes like people of power have come into power and ace and his anarchy basically originally took over you know like to control of the society because no one was doing so but because like things kind of like fell apart when they were taking over these renegades came to be and there are these like superheroes who are supposed to protect the society and so now there's this whole like you know division between the anarchy and the renegades and nova because she is the niece of ace who is part of the anarchy she has her own reasons why she does not like the renegades and of course people in the renegades are like we are the superheroes the anarchy are just here to you know cause chaos and you know keep the citizens not safe etc and there's a guy called adrian who is also you know i guess he's another main character he is part of the renegades and I think like based on the synopsis, I think Nova like basically infiltrates the renegades because no one knows who she is and the two of them like things kind of happen. Um, it's either she infiltrates or he infiltrates but I think it makes more sense for her to infiltrate uh, the renegades than vice versa so we'll see how that goes but that's kind of where I'm at right now where you know Adrian is in the renegades Nova is in the anarchy uh anarchists I think that's what they're called and it's interesting so far like definitely a lot of creativity um it, for some reason it reminds me of like the boys you know that tv show like the way how everyone is like the powers and kind of like the council of the renegades and how they are these superheroes but apparently according to nova she does not believe that the renegades should actually be in power because they're not actually what the people need nor what they want and they're not actually doing anything they say all these things and there but there's no like action behind the words and for some reason that reminds me of the boys just because of you know like the the five who are in place um like the leaders the superheroes and they're like oh my god but like in reality it's like so much like corruption and like deception behind what they've been doing uh and like they have this one face for the public and then reality it's not the same so it's super fascinating to kind of see some similarities between the boys in this book um because obviously this book came way before the show but i'm just kind of curious to see like if there's any similarities between the two of them more than just like this initial reaction from me but anyways just letting us know that i started the book and based on like how fast i'm reading it because i just started yesterday i think i'm hoping to finish it like tomorrow maybe or the next day i don't know we'll see but like i'm really hoping to finish the series soon she came to say hello by the way look at her and she's purring right now She's gotten so big, like both of the cats have gotten like giant. They're like five or six months old now, but they're so adorable. Anyways, all right, I've been reading guys. I am now page 208 on this book 
and I am really enjoying it so far. It's just such a fast, easy read, honestly. Like, everything's just going so smoothly. The writing style is very, like, straightforward. You know, like I said earlier, it's not a lot of, like, flowery, descriptive writing. Or there is, but, like, not, like, over the top. And it's just very, like, to the point, and I'm really liking it. Um, so I'm really enjoying the book so far. And definitely can't wait to continue on with it. It is the next day since I last updated you guys, so I'm hoping to finish this book. Probably not today, but, like, tomorrow, maybe? We'll see. But, um, yeah, just letting you guys know that I've been reading and like these two kittens right now they're both on my lap look at them I don't know they just love just chilling here with me um when I'm like trying to get some stuff done so they're both just trying to buy for my attention and if I'm petting one of them the other one immediately comes over and is like hello me too um but anyways point is though I am reading this book and I'm really enjoying it I can see why the hype is there and also like this book just so reminiscent to the boys like it is insane because even like the captain in this book of like the renegades superheroes he has tights on and he has a cape on I'm like hello homelander like the only difference is that he seems a lot more normal um he also has a like partner or something like that because adrian the other main character is their adopted son so the two of them are his dads and he's basically you know born into the whole like renegade society etc and he's already like just because of his lineage um his mom was one of the superheroes from the past like an older renegade and because of that he was just already part of the system and yeah like it's just really interesting so far for sure uh but anyways just wanted to let you guys know that this book is just giving me such boys vibe um just a lot of similarities for sure okay so now that we are caught up with what i've been reading and like my thoughts about it i do have to say that renegades for the first book was okay i think it's more like a three and a half stars maybe four stars at best it was definitely interesting but i don't know i just feel like i was never like oh my god what's gonna happen next kind of vibe i don't know if it's because i wasn't in the right like reading mood which i feel like i was because i wasn't not into reading but at the same time though i just felt like it was just okay like it was interesting it was entertaining i like the characters i like all the superpowers everyone had i thought it was super fascinating like i said many times this book really reminded me of the boys like just so many similarities with the superheroes and kind of like how they truly are but yeah i really enjoyed the first book though i don't think it was five stars but i definitely want to continue on with the second book but the thing is i think i'm going to start this book after i finish the another book that i need to read for my book club and then i can get back into this video and this vlog all right, so just jumping in, doing like the quickest update because I mentioned this earlier today and I forgot and now I'm heading to bed. So I'm like, wait, I need to like update you guys before I go to sleep, before I forget. But I wanted to update you guys and let you guys know that I finally started the second book, Arch Enemies, and I am now on page 98 of this book. So far, I am enjoying it. I'm not loving it. I don't know, for some reason, like this whole series, I'm not like super invested with everything that's happening. It's more like an okay read so far. So I'm really hoping that the second book picks up, but I'm a little worried because it is the second book and the second books tend to have second book syndrome so i'm hoping that that's not the case because otherwise i'll be kind of disappointed but this basically picks up exactly where the first book lays off and there's a lot going on right now with insomnia aka nova and then just her situation right now with the renegades and obviously with her team members there um and just dealing with all the stuff that's happening and like the aftermath of the first book um i don't know i just feel like right now it's interesting but it's not like super fast paced and i kind of want things to be super fast paced because there's lots of things that people are still having lots of secrets and nothing has been revealed yet so i'm still waiting for that bomb to go off between the big secret of sentinel as well as nova's identity so like these two things need to happen before i feel like the book can really kick off and i feel like also the way how the first book ended too it was very much like a huge cliffhanger but so far the second book has not addressed what happened at the end of the first book so i'm like waiting for that to also drop as well so right now i'm just feeling like i'm in a waiting game of multiple things happening and i'm waiting for the climax or like the reveal to occur and nothing has happened yet so 
very much a waiting game for me right now but i'm hoping that things pick up soon because the book needs to be a little faster <laughs> that's all i can really say um but i'm going to continue reading it probably be a little bit more tonight before i go to sleep um maybe just a little bit because i'm really tired hello it has been a while actually i've been busy for the past couple of days and haven't been reading too much but i am still reading arch enemies i am now on page 264 so definitely made some chunk i'm would say i'm a little bit more than halfway through right now so that's great um i'm really hoping to finish this book soon to be honest because it doesn't feel like it should take me a long time to read to be quite honest it's very much a quick read the pacing of the book is very fast the writing is very easy to understand it's not a book where i need it's not a dense book is basically what i'm trying to say here the issue is that I have not really spent the time to just sit down and read this book. Instead, I've been listening to audiobooks a lot because I've been playing a lot of like mobile games um, since I've just been chilling right now. So I've just been doing that. So I haven't really dedicated too much time with reading this series right now, which is the biggest problem. But if I do focus on this book, I think I can finish it um, probably this week, the series this week for sure. And yeah, hopefully I do that. But I just want to let you guys know that I'm still enjoying it. I don't the thing is for me the characters are just okay like they're not amazing i feel like there's a lot of hype around this series when it first came out and when the last book came out everyone's like oh my god it's amazing blah 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 and i was like super curious about it which is why i bought the series but now that i'm reading it it's okay like the characters are okay the plot's okay there's nothing it seems like it's very straightforward book in terms of the obstacles the situations um the plot itself just seems very much like this is point a and this is point b and there might be a few hiccups along the way but they're all very predictable so for me as a reader there's nothing that i'm like oh my god i can't believe this is happening so i'm waiting to see if there's anything that will be a plot twist anything that'll be surprising because that's kind of what i read books for i like to be surprised i don't like to read a book where everything is just so predictable and i can already see how the future is going to be laid out with these characters and the stories from the beginning so that's my biggest issue with this book i just feel like everything just seems so predictable and nothing is surprising but i don't know i just feel like this book is just okay this series is okay it's very mediocre um i'm just reading it because i do want to know what happens ultimately even though i kind of suspected but i feel like I would still like to be proven right um or like hopefully be proven wrong actually and the book itself is like an easy read so i think that's why i'm still like reading this book but anyways i'm literally just like rambling here now but yeah i'm going to continue reading and i'll let you guys know what i think about this hopefully in the next day or two all right i look a mess but it is what it is i just came back from a movie i watched she said which by the way is a really good movie um very powerful lots of great scenes and dialogue very enlightening because i feel like i've always if you don't know it's about the whole harvey weinstein situation that happened a couple years ago and it kind of goes into detail about the process of these journalists from New York Times and their investigation and their journey with that. Um, I didn't know too much about what happened. I knew like the gist, so it was really fascinating to kind of understand more comprehensively about what happened during that time period. So I highly recommend that movie if you're interested in knowing more about that but let's get on to with the actual update of this video so i did manage to finish reading supernova earlier today which i actually enjoyed the last 50 or so pages was very like fast paced lots of action lots of things going on um it was very intense i feel like i was very much invested by that point to know what was happening because for most of the book i was very much like okay this is interesting but i was just trudging along i wasn't that like invested with reading the book very quickly until the last 50 maybe 75 pages or so and then i was like wait things are happening things are happening fast let me i need to know what happens next so i finished it earlier today i enjoyed it i still think that the first book was better and this one was definitely a little bit slower in my opinion i think the first book was more like three and a half stars and this book was like a three star read for me so that's that so far this book this series has been very okay like i don't really understand the huge hype about it um and out of all the marissa meyer books i've read it's probably down there for sure um because i've read heartless and that was fantastic i also love the little Connor Crows as well so this one for me was i had expectations because i really enjoyed her previous books but so far it's been okay like not bad 
but not particularly great either. All right, so I am here to do a pretty quick update right now for Supernova over here. I am now on page 340 something, um, page 342. So I've definitely made a decent chunk. You can see over here. It's so far it's going, I would say this is actually my favorite book of the series because there's so much stuff happening with all the components of the renegades and the secrets and uh, just the trajectory of the plot right now. What I said earlier about how I think I know how this book will end was kind of thrown off course with the introduction of this new agent. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but then after that, I feel like I can kind of see, but it's become a lot more murky in terms of how the series will end. So I'm happy to say that there is a plot twist and uh, things have definitely changed, I think. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm pretty interested right now. It's very, the one thing I would say for sure about this book, the series, is that it's a very fast read. It's very easy to read. Like the way how Marissa writes is like clear and to the point. There's not a lot of, you know, extra details, flowery languages, all little things that sometimes make reading a little bit hard to understand. This is not the case. It's very much like she went there. Okay point A to point B. Very clear, concise, straight to the point. And sometimes that's just really good. Like I really appreciate that type of writing sometimes because I don't need to know all the details. You know what I mean? So for that writing, it really much fits this type of storyline. I have to say like out of all the hype that I've seen this series receive, it's not living up to it. Like I expected a lot more. This is still very much like a three, three and a half star series for me. I was expecting at least four, four and a half stars just because of how much everyone adored this series when it came out a couple years ago. But for me, that is just not the case. I've officially finished reading this series. I just finished reading Supernova over here, which is the third and final book to the Renegades series. And all I can say is that the last book was definitely more of a four star read. It's probably my favorite out of the entire series. The last part, the last maybe 50 pages, 100 so pages was very fast paced, very action packed. I was super invested in it. Um, the only issue I had with it was that because it was so fast paced, uh, well actually not because of that i don't know but like it ended very abruptly in a way it was just like oh my god everything ended cut and then it was an epilogue and then the epilogue was not even in the original pov it was in someone entirely news pov so i was like okay i'm not entirely sure why this person was chosen to have this pov because this character was not even that important throughout the series so i don't know if the purpose is to potentially have a spin-off series featuring this particular character in the future i don't know but i just felt like that just gave me a weird ending at the end like a weird feeling like everything until then was perfect like the build-up the climax the whole shebang was great and then it just kind of cut abruptly at the very very end and then that weird epilogue so that was my only issue really with the way how the series ended but other than that though it was a solid four star read really enjoyed all the ups and downs the betrayal the you know the finding out information like your past and coming to understanding like there's a lot of stuff that happened throughout this book that was definitely good um so i really enjoy that so overall my first book i would give this book maybe three stars three and a half at most um arch enemies which is the second book solid three stars i think definitely my least favorite of the entire series and the last book is more like a four star read so i would say the whole series is a solid three and a half stars i think um it was decent i think the the ending definitely redeemed itself definitely made things a lot more interesting and kept me very invested with the story can't say the same for the second book. The second book honestly took me a long time to get through because I just didn't care as much, I guess. Um, but the last book, especially the ending, I was like, keep it coming, I'm here for it. So I managed to finish this book already. Um, it's still the same day, by the way, as the last time I updated you guys. It's just the nighttime now, which goes to show like how much I read today because I was like, I wanna know what happens next. But yeah, I'm glad I read it, even though I do feel like it wasn't as solid of like a, you know, a five star read as I want it to be. At least four star, solid four star, but 
it was like a three and a half stars series overall um but yeah that's all to say for this video let me know down below if you have read the series before and if you did like what do you guys think about it what do you guys think about this series compared to her other series uh, the lunar chronicles um also her other books like heartless i'm curious to know what you guys think about that but as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i really just have on my channel and if you see more content of me please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as hit the notification bell and as always don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye